Hey there, this is Cyber. If you've been watching my streams lately on Twitch, you know I love to play with a variety of different guns in Hunt Showdown. Some of my favorite weapons include the Sparks or the Nagan Officer Carbine and any kind of shotgun. <laughs> Just kidding. Who the hell loves shotgun? They are so annoying. Seriously, people, why do you use them? I'm more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Today's video is about a different gun. One that is deadly accurate and sufficiently powerful enough. One that is so entertaining to play with that I think right now it's one of the coolest guns in the game. Let's talk about the Martini. No, not that Martini. But rather, this. The Martini Henry Repost. <coughs> Why do I love this gun? How you should play with it? Sit back and enjoy the ride while I do the gun review for you. Too hesitant? No need to be. Let's talk about the Martini. Dead. Two is dead. First, let us examine the advantages of using the repost as your primary choice of gun. Power and range. The repost deals the second highest damage in the long range category, only the sparks can beat it. Same true for the range, the Martin's effective range is even higher than the community favored guns, such as the Mosinna guns or the Labels. Cost. With only $164, the repost is a solid and money saver choice compared to more effective picks in the same category. Melee. The reason you want to pick the repost rather than any cheaper martini options is because of its deadly bayonet attachment. The bayonet can take down any mob with usually one heavy melee attack and almost always instantly kills a hunter from a longer range than a knife would. This is your bread and butter. Use it. The reason why the Martinis repost is so powerful is simply because of its versatile playstyle. You can take down a hunter from a longer range or be prepared to fight in a close combat. It is your choice. You are ready for every situation. This is where the fun part comes. As every gun in this game, it has its own disadvantages. It is a one-shot weapon, means that you have to reload between each shot. Playing as a solo, that means in a 1 vs 2 situations, you should rely on your pistol or close combat if you have been cornered and has no time to reload. Note it is still a faster reload time than the sparks. Immolators. The bayonet attachment lights the immolator in fire. I truly suggest you pick an extremely good mob killer next to the repost in every single game, such as a Nagant silencer with a poison ammo attached. It pairs really well with the repost, kills heavies, hounds and mobs with only one shot and takes down the immolator and hive with only two body shots. Stamina. Missing too many heavy melee attacks with the bayonet can get you into stamina trouble. You should be careful using the tapping option unless you need a more powerful stab. Shotguns. Using your bayonet to charge an opponent who has a shotgun is a 50-50 situation. Just pray that the damn fool gets scared from you and misses all his shots. Overall, looking at the pros and cons of the gun, I think the repost is one of the coolest long range weapon to play with. It is hard to master, but rewards you with an entertaining playstyle. Nothing is more fun than shooting from long, ra long range, sneaking or charging and then slashing and slaying your remaining opponents. There are so many ways to play with this weapon and each game provides you with a bunch of opportunities where you have to decide how to proceed into a fight. And if you're still hesitant if you should play the Martin Henry post or not, let me convince you with some of my greatest highlights playing as a solo player with this weapon. This gun definitely worth a shot.
what just happened? Oh. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the content, please like or subscribe. Until then, see you next time.